Hi, I'm Matthew from CRM Superstars, and this is a brief demo of how to use Salesforce's new Process Builder that came along in Spring 15. The Process Builder is great if you're a Salesforce Enterprise Edition client and you want more control over building your business processes and automating them in Salesforce. The, this demo takes a typical scenario of a sales team going out on winning deals for the business, and then once the sale is complete, uh, and has been sale has been closed one in Salesforce that the opportunity toggles over to a back office support team who then work on the administrative aspects of the deal. So we're going to be working in Salesforce's opportunities and we're going to be working with record types, sales processes, page layouts and the process builder. So let's take a look at a couple of opportunities that we've got in Salesforce at the moment to see how the process is going to run. Let's take a look at a sales opportunity. Here we've got our sales record type here. Uh, we've got an opportunity owner. This is the salesperson. Uh, we've got a spare field called salesperson. We're going to utilize that as part of Process Builder. Uh, and then we have our opportunity stages. So these will be familiar to you. Uh, these are the standard opportunity stages for uh, the sales process in Salesforce. If we take a look at a back office opportunity. So this is an opportunity that um, has closed one by the salesperson. We see that the opportunity record type is set to back office instead of sales. Um, the salesperson um, who was the opportunity owner, their details have been copied over into the salesperson field and the opportunity has been op and the opportunity owner has been changed to a back office support person. In this case uh, uh, the guy's name is John Smith. Uh, the stage for the opportunity it is still at closed one, but we can see now we're on a back office type of opportunity that uh, we're running the back office process. So how, let's take a look in Salesforce on how using the process builder, we can change the record type from sales to back office, populate the salesperson field with the opportunity owner, change the opportunity owner uh, from the salesperson to the back office support person and create a task for that back office uh, user uh, to go and raise an invoice for this particular opportunity. So the functionality we're going to use is going to be driven from Process Builder. So let's find Process Builder by clicking Setup and searching for Process Builder. In, uh, in the setup pages and we'll find it here underneath create workflow and approvals. Okay I'm going to click new to create a new process and this process is going to be called opportunity sales handover process. Okay we'll be get given an API name here and a description. This is uh, the process to be followed when an opportunity is one and handed over to the backward multiple times in a single transaction. So we can click save. That updates the process builder to show that we are working on an opportunity. We now add a criteria for the opportunity to enter in to this process and this criteria is going to be called, this uh, criteria is going to be opportunity, opportunity is at stage closed one. Okay. The criteria for executing actions for this process are going to be when the filter conditions are met. And the filter conditions here are that our opportunity stage, let's click save here, equals closed one. Okay. So these are going to, these are the criteria that uh, once met, we'll execute this process. Uh, we're only going to have one entry condition, so uh, but if we had more than one, we could add some logic here using the filter conditions. We are going to check the checkbox that says yes here because we only want the process to fire when an opportunity is edited to meet these criteria, not every time it's edited after the criteria is met. So let's click save. And now you can see we can add actions to happen. So if the opportunity is at stage closed one, we want to add an action. 
and that action type from this pick list is going to be update records. We want to update the opportunity record. So we act, uh, the action name here is going to be uh, set sales person from owner, and the opportunity, the object that we're going to work on uh, is the opportunity. So we just click opportunity here and click save. Okay. The field that we want to update is the sales person field, which is a custom field that we created that is a lookup to the user object. So the sales person um, is going to be, we're not going to set it to a particular value, we want to set it to an existing field value that's on the opportunity. So instead of typing in a value here, we're going to click on this pencil, which will change the lookup um, or t change from a text entry into a lookup field and then click on the down arrow here. So we want to set the salesperson to the owner ID. Okay. So the first step here is to essentially copy the current opportunity owner to the salesperson. And now I'll click save. So that saves it as an action. I can then go and add some other actions. Um, I could uh, do another update record here and this could be um, for us to set uh, the record type to back office. So this again is going to be on our opportunity and the field that we're going to set is the record type ID. Now in this case we can't copy the record type ID from any other value that's on the opportunity so we need to identify what the record type ID is. So if we click over into opportunity record types in the setup pages, see here I've got my sales and back office record type. If I click back office record type up here in the URL I've got the Salesforce identifier for uh, the back office record type. So I'm going to copy that and paste it in here. So that's going to set our record type to the back office record type. Okay, now if I save this, I can then create another action, which is another update. Um, so these actions, whilst I'm creating a single action uh, for each update that I'm making, we could roll multiple um, updates into a single action. So um, let's this is going to be set uh, owner um, to the back office user. And let's click opportunity here. So, and we want to set the owner, and we want to set the owner ID again to a specific value. So we've got over here on this page John Smith's user record. Uh, we can see John Smith's got a Salesforce ID up here. Let's copy that and paste it into the value field. Okay. If we wanted to add any further updates in here, we could click Add Row to set those other updates. Just for um, example purposes, I've created a separate action for each, each field update. So let's click Save here. And I'm going to create one final action, and that is to create a task for John Smith, our back office user, to uh, raise an invoice for this um, for this customer. So let's click Add Action one more time. This time I'm going to create a record instead of update one. And this is going to be a create invoice task. Uh, the object that we're going to be working on are tasks, not opportunities. And let's have a look at the variables that we're going to set on this task. We're going to set a high priority. We're going to set this as not started status. Uh, we're going to assign it to John Smith. So we've already got his ID and let's paste that in there. We also want to relate the task to the opportunity that it's been raised against. So let's um, have a look at the related to ID. And we're going to relate that to not a specific value, but a value that's already on the opportunity. So click the pencil and then click the drop down arrow and we'll find uh, 
in the pick list the opportunity ID. So we're going to set the related to ID to the opportunity ID. And the final update we're going to make here is to set the subject to create a new invoice for this closed one opportunity. Okay, let's click save here. So now we've created uh, a bunch of actions to be taken uh, when an opportunity is at stage closed one, uh, and that's been built out in the process builder. What we need to do now is activate the process, and we do that by clicking the activate button up in the top right. Uh, we've got a warning page here if there's an active uh, version of this process, and uh, then we'll replace that active version. We haven't got an active version, so we we'll click OK to proceed. And that has now created our opportunity sales handover process. So if we go and have a look at a sales opportunity here, here's the one we were looking at earlier, Acme 200 widgets. It's a sales uh, re opportunity record type. Uh, the opportunity owner is Matthew Day. There's no salesperson allocated there and the stage is prospecting. If we move our stage th through to closed one, we will meet the entry criteria that we set in the process builder. Uh, and the processes will fire. So let's click OK here and save. And we can see that the opportunity record type has changed to back office. The salesperson has been set to the old opportunity owner. The opportunity owner has been changed to our back office user. And a new open activity has been created uh, and assigned to our back office user and related to this opportunity. So without writing a single line of code, we have automated a, subs a significant amount of business process in one step using the process builder. Thank you.